hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without where do i to create new add an illustration so we select a thousand by thousand pixel resolution 300 and we create to double click and on this background i going to copy this hexacode Add a new solid color. So I'm going to paste my hexa code right here. Okay. Head over to file place embedded. So I'm going to select this image. Press enter or click the check mark. Convert this to a smart object. Ctrl T and I transform. So we transform this a bit. I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge. Okay. So we're going to create a max. So grab my brush and change the foreground color to black. B for brush too. And I'm going to clean right here, which I don't need. We're going to get rid of this. Okay, so we have it easy. Going to create. We're going to select a rectangle to create a rectangle right here. So we put a rectangle. A rectangle shape change the color from to white. Okay, so we're increasing the corner radius. No, this is too big. We're going to change the corner radius to 40. Ctrl A and we center it right in the middle. We're going to transform this. Click the check mark to confirm. Ctrl A. We have it right in the middle. I'm going to copy all this copy this test. I don't have it, so I have to type design studio. Design library. So click the check mark and change the color from change the size to so change the color from to this background color. I'm going to uncheck all upper case so grab my move tool and I adjust this right here. So I highlight this. And I'm going to type this. Okay, so we have library. Library. Click the check mark to confirm. Remove this about alt and drag to duplicate this layer. T for test, and I'm going to highlight this and change this test to present. Click the check mark to confirm. So we change the size to 6. And I italize this. So I do have to notepad and copy this out. So we copy this. So we'll grab my test tool and paste. Change the color to white we want to make this bigger click the check mark to confirm so grab my test tool and cut this click the check mark 
we're going to paste so i'm going to change the font so we have the font or oh, we have bengasi bold I'm going to change the size to 33 we have we are going to we have this italized okay okay so I'm going to so I have this layer right here I'm going to select my rectangular marquee tool I'm going to draw this way on this layer the health right click and transform this selection i'm going to rotate this a bit move it up you rotate again you drop it okay we'll move it up okay click the check mark to confirm and I'm going to create a max so I have it this way so I'm going to press ctrl J to duplicate to have two layers one in a copy so con I'm going to select one of these layers ok I select the copy ctrl I and I invent that so we have the copy right here and I'm going to move it out a bit so we have the effect as this sorry we're going to undo we'll move it out rather this way okay okay this is okay I'm going to select this layer this test right here so we're changing the font to like 321 impact and check italize okay so we change the size to 52 so we adjust it right here okay so we're going to add a gradient to value. I already have the gradient to value set as this. Okay. So we have the gradient to value here. Okay. Click OK. I'm going to add a stroke. So we have the stroke size as two. Okay. So we click OK. So grab my test tool and I'm changing the test to all okay, to oxygen both and type end changing the size to nine eight to control A and I have it right in the middle control D I did select so I'm going to move this up change the size to 9 ok grab my rectangle too so I zoom in and draw a rectangle shape right here I have the color fill as white grab my move tool and I'm going to hold alt and drag so I duplicate it and, and move this to the other side so we move this a bit and move the text so we have it right in the middle so I grab my ellipse tool once again I'm going to draw an ellipse shape right here so I grab my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape right here I'm going to copy this hexa code.
change the color from so i'm just going to paste my hexa code right here click ok so i have it this way i'm going to select this right click and skew so i'm going to skew to the left okay so we have it this way click the check mark to confirm so i got my test tool so i copy this changing the font okay we change the size to 12 4 16 so we paste click the check mark to confirm change all to our package we're going to italize this and change the font back to auxin then we world we're going to italize change the color through to this background color so i grab my move tool and i move it right into the shape right here okay so we'll click the check mark and confirm so we have it right here okay we'll move this and adjust it a bit so i got my rectangle too and draw a rectangle shape right here change the color for to white so we zoom in and make this smaller okay zoom in okay we have it this we click the check mark to confirm so we press ctrl e so we have it right in the middle here I do have to notify and copy this test. So I grab my test tool. And I'm going to paste. So click the check mark and change the color for to white. Change the size to 8. So we're going to uncheck italize sorry change the size to uncheck italize okay so we have Benghazi bold Eesh. sorry sorry we have Benghazi bold changing this to it and check italizing all our packages so we're going to backspace so we have this and change this to capital R we'll highlight this test change the color from to this color okay so we click ok So we have this. You make this capital capital P and Gaza capital G. So we'll click the check mark to confirm. Control A. We center right here. So we select this, move it up. So I'm going to select all the top most layers, this layers. We select this as well. Okay. 
we're going to select rectangle 4 so we have all these legs selected ctrl g so we have this as one group move this up okay so i grab the rectangle and change the color to white So we're going to draw a rectangle shape right here. Copy this. So we're going to paste right here. Change the color for to white. So we paste. Make all uppercase. All uppercase. So alt and drag to duplicate. Edward Notepad. And copy this. So I'm going to highlight this. And paste. I'm going to add about notepad and copy this. So I grab my test tool and paste. I'm going to highlight this. Change the color for to this yellow. Control A. So we have it right in the middle. Change the size to 6. I'm going to move this up. Head over to Notepad and copy this. I'm going to hold Alt and drag to duplicate this layer. Grab my text to highlight all this and I'm going to paste this. So I'm going to highlight this and change the color for to white. So we'll click OK. Sorry, I'm going to click the check mark. So we'll move this up. Okay, we we'll move this up, adjust it a bit. I'm going to select the zoom in and make it a bit bigger. So we did this, sorry. So we did this a bit. Okay, we'll click the check mark. Oh, select this 7 a.m. Okay, we move it to half. We select our test to space and add sharp. Click the check mark to confirm. So we have it right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial.